In Subcon Engineering, time is money, so to save only a few seconds could make the difference between us winning or losing a job in what is an extremely competitive marketplace. Shearline Precision Engineering is an engineering subcontractor, so we have no products of our own, which means that we manufacture components for our customers. Our customers are in science, medical, aerospace, defence, packaging, in fact, all sorts of actual applications. So we've replaced two star lades, an SR16 and an SR20, which both had a combined age of 51 years uh, with this new machine behind me, which is a star SR20. The decision was taken because the older machines were slower. Um, they'd been very reliable throughout their lives, but the slowness was leading us to become undercompetitive in what is an extremely competitive market. So a machine being a lot faster has meant that the cycle times obviously are reduced, which means the machine is far more productive, so it can produce more componentry in the same given space of time. It's also got a fire suppression system which enables us to run the machine lights out when the building is unattended. In Subcon Engineering, time is money, so to save only a few seconds could make the difference between us winning or losing a job in what is an extremely competitive marketplace. We asked for 500 parts as a, uh, to prove out, which is equivalent to like an eight hour run, equivalent to a shift, um, which they proved they could do. And so the next thing you know, the machine's on its way. The idea is with the high pressure coolant, the SPC, we can now run parts a lot quicker. Even on some big batches, say for our sake, there's 10,000 parts in a run. If you save five seconds in a part, you're talking 14, 15 hours saved during, during the run. As a programmer and a setter of other machines, being able to leave this machine running, knowing that the part's coming out good, just gives us freedom to move around the section and program other machines, get up and running, you know, as we need it. So while I was an apprentice, I was the first person to actually run and set this machine. Uh, they had confidence for me to do this because I had learnt on the 32, which is just over there. Uh, basically a carbon copy of how that machine runs and operates. So it was delivered on the day, it took a couple hours to plumb up and do the electricals and then due to it already being set with all the tooling in it, basically put the bar in and press go. Now that I've finished my apprenticeship, it's exciting to know that Shearline not only invests in the latest technology and its people that they employ, and it'll be interesting to see what future tech that they bring into the factory.